Alrighty guys, brand new ban list coming out in January 1st, 2024. It is our first ban list, so let's go ahead and check it out. Here's my reaction to it. Although I, I will admit, I saw on the thumbnail in one of these pictures while I was scrolling down on my uh, Facebook feeds. And uh, well, it sold this ban. Uh, you know, I'm surprised honestly that it actually lasted this long because that card was so nutty turn one. If this card like survived, it's usually GG's. Uh, if this card got its effect off, a lot of times, uh, depending on the deck that it was, you could run some like jank hero deck and then if you open up with a soul and it doesn't get stopped, you basically get to pop off. Or even if they do stop it, depending on when they stop the effect, you can still actually go off in a lot of different decks. So with that card being banned, uh, I'm gonna be honest, it kind of lasted too long, but hey, it's actually gone. You know what? It's another card that I feel like lasted way too long. Uh, here is at Nat Beast. Uh, oh, that's, that's not actually called that. It's a Naturia Beast. Uh, okay, okay. I guess it's still not banned, but I've always felt like those two cards in general were just like super, super powerful. And, uh, well, while it's not Naturia Beast, I still think that uh, it is absolutely insane. Again, that it like was not banned for that long but nonetheless agito uh and kelbat my guess is they just announced the new light sworn stuff if any of you guys haven't checked out the gameplay of the brand new light sworn stuff if i remember i'll pin it down below the new light sworn stuff is actually pretty good and everyone is playing it and i believe uh agito and uh kelbeck is another like mil five you get a free needle bug nest right uh kekbeck or is him kelbeck okay so yeah this one like mills five right um, you can activate this effect, each player sends top 5 cards, and then if exchange of spirits there, but like, it's just like, it's too much, there's too much Millen, man, so that could be something that people would consider, uh, being too good, and then we also have Agito, uh, that is the, uh, it's another Agito over here, it's, they were both already at 1 in the TCG, but yeah, being able to send the top 5 cards, and if exchange of spirits, um, yeah, but yeah, just being able to go through too many cards could be, uh, the reason why, and again, the new light sworn stuff is good already, and I've seen people mix those in, and you can mix in so much with the brand new light sworn stuff. Uh, and then Mathmex Circular, I guess they wanted to kind of go ahead and say no more of, of that card. So I would say overall, this is kind of like okay changes, nothing like that's like shouldn't have been nerfed. This is definitely a nice change over there. And then newly limited over here, let's go and check it out because I like the pictures. This is provided by I think Italian Yu Gi Oh here. Uh, I like I like the visual picture here. So for for Forbidden and limited card use, we have uh, Harp Horror. Now, let me go ahead and double check on Harp Horror. Okay, so that was actually banned. You know, honestly, with Orcus, uh, I haven't seen any Orcus builds in a while, and mostly I've been just kind of playing online instead of like playing like paper here. Uh, but as far as it goes, I haven't seen anyone play Orcus at all. Then we have, oh, Redox. Wait, that's a Dragon Ruler coming back, right? That's the first time. Uh, oh dragon ruler so that is actually a cause so the only ones that were free were tempest so slowly guys we're getting all of the dragon rulers back and that just shows you how much Yu Gi has power corrupt maybe eventually one day we're gonna have all triple dragon rulers and people won't play them. if you were to tell me years ago that you could play triple black luster soldier and triple dark hall i would have said man you are straight capping but that's just the way that Yu Gi Oh works man so uh redox is coming back and then oh they hit the rescue ace so rescue ace i was saying that this was like one of the best decks in the entire game unchained was actually pretty strong as well and then looks like they're hitting some of that the plant stuff I i've seen those once well then ib the world challenge just car snatch steel wait snatch steel they brought it back again I, i'm pretty sure it was still banned right okay so snatch steel was still banned okay and then oko oh, goes in match and rivalry and there can only be one so wow they're really cutting down on some of the floodgates but if you could just run one of each i mean if people open up with them and it's still like kind of a gg i feel like with some of these cards where like their floodgates where like any deck can just play multiple like some decks can play goes in and rivalry both in one deck right and at that point where they playing three three i don't know but at the end of the day the way i see it is that if you still open up with like you know that one card you could still automatically steal the game if you still open up nat beast decree like you can still automatically win games there's just certain matchups where like it's impossible to play no matter how good you are as a player you just lose to goes in and rival and I, i've never really liked those situations i've always liked the idea of having like the perks like in um Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links where you can just like do something and like you know and mst uh, you know as an, an ability would be kind of cool just to not have to deal with some of these situations where again you travel go to a ycs or whatever Yu Gi Oh event uh to maybe win one of those nintendo switches to, with your thousand dollar plus deck right and you get into the finals and you're like all right well 
Unfortunately, I just lose and I can't outskill a Gozen match because he just opened up with it. So I would say these are nice changes. I would rather these just in general be banned for the game uh, versus uh, limited. That's just, again, my personal take on it. And this is obviously you guys want my reaction, my thoughts on it. But as far as Redox coming back into the game, off the top of my head, I can't think of any like crazy Earth decks. I know that there is the new Ancient Gear stuff. Uh, I haven't actually covered the gameplay yet. I actually have the gameplay, but I need to actually work on a video. So uh, how are the new Ancient Gears? I mean, this literally came out like yesterday i think in the because it got announced like two days ago and they just released it on um over here uh ancient gear the new the brand new ancient gear yeah i believe it like just just came out so yeah some of these cards just came out so yeah maybe with ancient gears again uh that's only like new er, newer earth deck that i can think of off the top of my head uh that do it would make great use out of redox but nonetheless that is what is limited okay so now let's check out the semi limited so pick drops okay and then speedroid terror top and purely sleep memory okay so i gotta check out what these were at because i honestly don't know off the top of my head so uh pink drops i felt like i mean it was just a really good card um to side deck so it's, it was still at one okay because back when i played the dinos it was fine you'd only play one anyways it was like really solid i still think it's a pretty decent card uh and then speed sp uh, if i could spell uh speed droid uh terror top was that card at one or okay so maybe more speed droid stuff i know that they are supporting synchros a lot more and uh this card over here when it's normal you get a um oh you control no and then you special summon it and then you get to add one and i guess the other one's special ones. it's like a free if i remember correctly usually the plays that ended up with terror top would be crystal wing i don't know if that's still like the go-to like insta play for a free extra card because it's just enables an instant play uh from the start so you get to maybe beta a hand trap too so okay and then uh sleepy uh memory uh sleepy mem memory was at triple and now it is at one so this is the one where i have to like read them because a lot of the artwork looks very similar so next uh battle effect damage take is zero discard a card and the special one purely is probably like the actual effect that people want um then once during your opponent's stamina phase you can draw an extra card okay so that is the sleepy memory so that was actually hit uh, over here i'm just gonna double check over here so as far as that goes uh yeah these are the uh cards that are newly semi-limited over here and then now we're gonna go into the unlimited over here so we have uh wait unicorn is there okay so archfiend oh what was archfiend at was that like one for the longest time in tcg okay <laughs> yeah okay for for i don't know what reason they bringing this card back could be a mistake uh because it was actually playable i've even had like i, I don't know like several formats ago i just remember getting gameplay uh someone sent it in of like infernities and i was still like making like six negates because we still have um can you still, you can still use more than one barrier right um oh we have to type in infernity yeah, barrier's still at triple, it's not like a once per turn, right? I just remember a lot of the Infernity builds would just end up going triple barrier, and then you can go for, like, Bow Bo of the Goddess plus triple barrier. It's like a GG. And the fact that they're putting this in, I think that, so far, in terms of this ban list, that's the first mistake that I've seen over here. What about the, uh, Unicorn? Um... Okay, so this one was at two. Okay, that probably won't be that big of a deal. Now, <clears throat> I don't remember what Mind Control was actually at. It was, wasn't Desirous at two? So mind control is at one. I don't really feel like it was that uh, seeing that much play because it has like some limits on it, right? Uh, can't uh, declare an attack or be tributed, but still being able to snatch steal, uh, like it's just better anyways, right? Uh, in most circumstances. Um, and then we have desires. As far as I'm aware of desires, was that two? Uh, okay, so yeah, Desires was at two for the longest time. Okay, so that's cool. That's not that big of a deal. Spellbook of Judgment being unlimited. I remember, um, <laughs> like it's funny, like. At the, at the peak of Yu-Gi-Oh, for me at least, when like I felt like the game was at like the maximum power level, that was like the spellbooks and dragon rulers, and it's crazy that everything is slowly starting to come back. Um, so a spellbook judgment was at one, okay. So I remember, I think was it, it Master Duel with a like pat at three or something? I don't know, or was it Duelings? I just remember when it came back to one or something it was pretty crazy people were freaking out but it really wasn't that insane um you had to open up with it and your opponent had to have no hand traps and now you guys evolved where everyone's playing so many hand traps and in perms so uh that has changed and then we have oh man the upstar goblin at triple sky strikers looking solid now um but the uh, the sprite star and you know also gets a buff Shout out to my Magical Musketeers. Haven't seen them in a while, but like, hey, that card actually helps out the deck quite a bit. And then we also have the uh, Sprite Starter. Sprite Starter. 
Okay, so that was just that too. Okay, so uh, as far as that goes, in terms of the, the ban list, here's my overall wrap up thoughts. And I'm just gonna double check over here because I like using the organization because I like you know, how they format it. And I kind of like the visual pictures here. Uh, but as far as it goes, as far as Forbidden goes, I would say they did a pretty good job overall. I wish they actually hit more stuff just because I like seeing newer things come back to the game as well. As far as things that came back into the game, uh, Harpoor, I don't think that's gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, Redox may have some implications in the game uh, but as far as goes like these are all pretty good changes and then with this it's fine I don't think it's really that big of a deal um, but the one mistake on the ban list could be Infernity Archery let me know guys what you think of my thoughts on the ban list I would love to know your thoughts as well but yeah that uh, the Archery definitely could be a huge mistake we'll see where it goes but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you do or subscribe to the bell and let me know guys what you think is going to be the top meta deck I still think Rescue Ace is going to be pretty good and the new Life Sworn stuff is just absolutely crazy but anyways take care and I'll see you in the next video peace out